Hello! Welcome or welcome back to another video of me making stuff. Before we get started, this is a skirt, okay? But I'm wearing it up here so you'll be able to see it as I talk. So, where did this skirt come from? I was scrolling through Pinterest one day and I just come across this skirt. I have no idea the brand. It just kind of popped up out of nowhere and I'm like, damn, I need a, I need a mini skirt. So that's what we're gonna make today. We're making a mini skirt, okay. Now, I just want to point out, I made a video of me making a, a mi I'm gonna say midi, midi skirt um, a while ago. And that one and this one, you can see like how much better I got at making, making clothes. Like it's kind of insane. And that was only like two, three months ago. But yeah, um, this skirt is really cute and really, really short. So I also have a little tip. I also have a little tip on how you can make shorts to go inside of them. I was going to make shorts and my video will be titled with shorts inside of it. But I don't know. I just wanted that versatility. Like if I wanted to put something underneath, you know, so yeah anyways um i guess we shall get started okay with a stretchy fabric and a pair of my panties i traced it out and got prepared to make the inside shorts of the skirt Setting that aside, I um, began making the waistband of the skirt. Um, it did take me two tries, um, so get enough fabric so that you can make mistakes, because I definitely did. The waistband for me is about two inches wide, but make sure to add seam allowance and add another part so that you can be able to like fold it over many times so that you don't have any raw edges poking out. And make the length pretty long so that you can mess up and it'll be okay. With the waistband, you want you don't want it to be straight across, okay? Because usually our hips are a little wider than our stomachs, so you want it to curve in a little bit. So what I did was, I knew I wanted it to curve down at least an inch, so I made a rectangle, right? And made that rectangle two inches wider than it's supposed to be. So this is um, this is two inches wide. The rectangle was four inches wide. And then the length was just as long as the front part of my waist. And then you want to find the middle and mark where it's one inch lower so that you can curve it down. And the same thing with the bottom. You want to be able to curve it down. I really hope that made sense, but I do have video, so. Leave a lot of room for seam allowance. Trust me. Now for making the pleats, I marked on the top and bottom of the fabric, I marked inches. So I put one inches between each tick mark on the top and the bottom so that I can fold it in and it'd be the same length for each pleat. And I put the two waistbands um, to measure and make sure that I was gonna make it. If you do not make it, you can always sew more fabric onto it and then continue making the pleats. Um, I can't remember how long the, the fabric was. I guess I'll put it somewhere up here, but 
yeah just one inch was good enough for me well like one inch is like oh my god how do I explain this so I pinched the inch the tick mark and I brought it to the other no I didn't I brought it to the middle I can't remember what I did actually I guess you'll see it I sewed the two waistbands together and then I worked on pinning the waistband to the pleats very nice and neatly to make sure that the pleats stay in place. Now this method of making the zipper was supposed to work, but I didn't. I don't know why, but that's why the only like fault to my skirt is the zipper area because it's kind of ugly. Um, I'm not super good at sewing the zippers or buttons. They 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 get me. Okay. Yeah, that was one downside to the skirt. But what I, it was supposed to do was you were supposed to be able to sew sew all the way down where you want the zipper and then put on top put the zipper on top right in the middle and sew that down so that when you take take out the thread where the zipper is supposed to be then it'll reveal the zipper nice and neat and you know it's it's a invisible zipper i don't know why that didn't work for me it may work for you so i recommend you try it and it'll look a lot nicer than how I did it, so. Okay, so the zipper is on. I tried it on and it was a little big. And honestly, I'd rather bigger than smaller. Smaller, you have, it's, it's a headache if it's smaller. So I, I was very glad it was bigger and not smaller. So instead of taking out the zipper, which is one option to making it, um, making it a little smaller I just took out the other side and sewed down I pinned the extra fabric and I sewed along those pins at the waistband make sure that it is at an angle because like I said your waist is probably a lot smaller than your hips I was very lucky that it was right in the middle of two pleats so that when I brought it together it looked like three inches each of my pleats are three inches by the way I don't know if I said that but if yours might not look nice and neat just go ahead and take the zipper out and work from there Okay, I swear this is how I tied the bow for each of my bows. I don't know why it looks
looks a little ugly in this one. Um, I swear I did it. Like if it if it looks ugly like that, just keep going and <laughs> it'll get there. Okay, coming back to the under shorts or panties or whatever you want to call it. Um, I sewed it together, right? I thought that was pretty self-explanatory. Just make sure you leave little holes for your waist and your legs. And then I put it on and I pinned where I needed to, I don't know, where there was, it was too much fabric. Like if you notice a pair of panties, you notice that in the front it's a lot smaller than in the butt area. So I just went in and pinned that up and then cut it out. This part is where I would sew in those um, panties. Um, yeah, you, you would just sew it at the waistband. I don't think that you would have to cut out where the zipper is because it's stretchy anyway. So when you unzip the zipper, the skirt would unzip, but not the, the panty part. Um, but you can, you can do that if you want to and then fold in the raw edges. But like I said, I decided to keep that separate so that I can have that option. I made sure I put the elastic around the waist of the panty. Oh, also before I did that, I didn't get this on camera, but I went in and made a little dip in the in the front of the panty area where your stomach would be. Now, cutting was very scary. It's gonna be different in the front and the back, so you have to be very careful not to just assume that it'll be the same in the both sides and just snip away all your hard work. In the back, it's gonna be a lot longer than in the front. Where I'm cutting right now is where I want the shorts to stop at the butt, right? And you can stop there but I wanted it to be a little shorter in the front so I kind of like made a U shape to get that effect. Be super careful because you could go too high. I mean if you want to like that's up to you but I didn't want to go too high. I wanted it to be actually wearable you know. The way I tie the knot here is magnifique because I just learned this from like Pinterest. All you do is you wrap it around your finger and then you like twist it and pull and then it makes an automatic knot. Who knew? And then I did the ribbon by hand. And that would mark the end of the skirt, I guess. Yeah, um, I love the way it turned out. It's really pretty. And I can't wait for you guys to see the next one. I am working on a very popular dress. You can put down in the comments which one you think it is. And maybe I'll put your comment in the next video to see if you got it right. But yeah. I'm excited for the next one and I love this skirt too.
Anywho, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you liked the video so much that you want to subscribe, please do that, please. I guess that's all I have to say. I don't, I don't know what else. Okay, bye. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt. I know I'm speaking facts right now, but I just had to interrupt to tell you that I'm having a giveaway. <laughs> By May 31st, if I reach 300 subscribers, I will randomly choose one of you guys to be featured in a video where I make you a whole set and you get to keep it and I'll handle the shipping and everything like that. So it's a giveaway, it's a giveaway. All you need to do is win is these three things. First, make sure you get subscribed, duh. Second, follow me on Instagram because that's how I will contact you if you want or not. And then lastly is make sure you comment under as many videos of mine as you can. Each video is one entry for you. And that can be a short or that can be a long form video. It's up to you. But yeah, um, I'm very excited about this. I think it'll be a nice video and it's a good way to include you guys because you guys are everything and I just, I'm so happy that you guys are here. So with that being said, good luck.